What's up all you crazy late night mofos out there? Uh, this is Will Crown here. Uh, I'm being quiet because it is late night here and I guess you may not be that crazy now that I think about it because this isn't aired live. So you could be watching this at any time you want to watch this. But uh, it's pretty late here. It is right now 1.37 here. That's my kiddos. Some of y'all might be like, well, that's not even that late. So everybody's up in bed right now. The late night hustle is when you get a lot of your stuff done. So here I am. And this is just a prime example. I figured I'd walk you through a little bit of my routine. The mindset for a successful dad hustle is that you get it in whenever you possibly can. Smart people say everyone has the same 24 hours in a day. The difference is how you choose to use those 24 hours. It's not that we don't have time. Notch it up on your priority list. If you do that, you'll get it done. So this is my time. This is when I can actually get it in. So today's like Christmas. Our printer is down right now. Thank you, Office Max. This is not a complete copy, but this is the screenplay that I'm working on right now. And about 60 pages in. Pretty psyched about this story. The reason I printed it out is because there's something different about having like a hand paper copy that you can like thumb through and make notes on versus just, you know, it's normally on my computer and I'm just working on it. It's going to be good. Academy Award. So get ready for that. So that's great. Above and beyond that, I'm actually reading through the Goodwill Hunting script written by Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. And you might say, well, why the heck would you do that? Well, it's research. I mean, these guys wrote this script, though Damon had had some acting success at that point already. They were really nobodies in Hollywood, but they wrote this script that was stellar and it ended up winning the Academy Award that year in, I believe, 1998, 99, somewhere in there. <sighs> change their life. You gotta do your research. Late night is perfect time for research. Be reading, be studying. It's also perfect time for social media. And as you can see, I've got 19 like the Twitter, whatever, tweet notifications. I got stuff to catch up on there and I need to make sure that I'm connecting with people. You know, social media, I'm learning and this is constantly a process for me of learning. But social media is all about engagement. It's about building community, just like this. YouTube is a social media platform. So I'm trying to build a community with you guys. We've talked about this before. Really get to know you and have you get to know me and who I am. So that's where the engagement factor comes in. That's where commenting comes in. That's where sharing comes in. It takes time. This is 2018. Social media is imperative. You can't neglect that. I gotta make sure that I'm spending time on it as well. So above and beyond, just working on my own projects. You see, just keep on social media, doing research, all that good stuff. This is where I track my progress. Check this out. Hold on. So I got this book just this past week. It's dual grid graph notepad, and I'm super visual. I like to track my progress. Even in my previous career, when I was in sales and marketing, I would always have like I would draw myself square grids and little pie charts and graphs and stuff like that because I can see the progress. I like to see how things develop. Don't be afraid to blend creativity with analytics. As you can see, I haven't done anything with this project. Just started it. Um, wow, crap. A bunch of pages come out. That sucks. Got to figure that out. Screenplay that I'm working on. This one's on my weight. Where I was at and where I want to go down here. And I think I just did another one. Yep, I literally made this up tonight while I was working earlier. Subscribers, you know, I'm gonna be working on that for YouTube, for all of you guys. So if you happen to see this video and you subscribe today, your number is going right in here. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so late night hustles and parody. For me, everybody's different. Some people's gonna be early morning hustles. Some people, you know, their thing is gonna be getting up at, I don't know, four, five, six o'clock before everybody in their house gets going. Whenever you gotta get it in, just get it in. It's pretty much all it is. Now, I will tell you this, caffeine, coffee, things like that are your friend. Temptation for me was to have like, have a nice wine down drink, or some wine, things like that. Put a little mix in the drink, you know what I'm saying? Like that's cool and I enjoy that when I'm with my wife, but if I'm trying to do that and work, it completely kills the creative process, okay? Because it just makes me want to sleep. So that's not good. Sleep doesn't mix well with getting work done. The other thing is you gotta watch the snacking. And if I do a lot of snacking now, especially late night, like, I'm working against myself. One of the goals that I have even in this book, as you saw, is my weight loss challenge. By the way, that was like episode six, if you look right up here. And, oh my 
my gosh, that's crazy to think about. It was that long ago when I uploaded a video called Jumpstart My Booty and I talked about how I'm fat essentially and need to lose a lot of weight. I'm down like almost 10 pounds, so whoa, whoa. Psyched about that. So anyways, late night hustle guys. Just wanted to make a quick video. Class is out early. This is Will Crown with episode number 22 of the Dad Hustle Show. And as always, I'm here to help you get to the next level in your dad hustle. Keep hustling, dads.